movement is a fundamental characteristic of living organisms. It includes both voluntary and involuntary movements. Voluntary movement is a conscious movement controlled by the brain, such as walking, writing, and exercising. Involuntary movement occurs automatically without conscious control, such as heartbeat, digestion. Whereas, locomotion is a type of movement that leads to a change in the position or place of an organism. In this video, we will explore different types of movements, the human skeletal system, and the mechanism of muscle contraction. Types of movement Firstly the amoeboid movement, movement through cytoplasmic streaming, seen in amoeba and white blood cells. Second is the ciliary movement, paramecium move by beating thousands of cilia in an organized pattern. And the last one is muscular movement, the most common type in humans, occurring due to muscle contraction and relaxation. The skeletal system provides structural support for the movement and locomotion. It consists of bones, cartilage, joints, and ligaments. The human skeleton is divided into two parts. First is the axial skeleton consists of skull, vertebral column, and rib cage. Second is the appendicular skeleton, contains limbs and girdles. Joints of our body play a crucial role in body movement by acting as the connection points between bones, allowing flexibility, mobility, and support. Joints of our body is divided into three types. First one is fibrous joints, immovable, example, skull sutures. Second is the cartilaginous joints, slightly movable, example, intervertebral discs. And third one is synovial joints, freely movable, further classified as ball and socket joint, example shoulder and hip, hinge joints such as knee and elbow. Pivot joint, example, neck, gliding joint, such as wrist and ankle, saddle joint, example, thumb. Now let's learn about the muscle structure and function. The human body has three types of muscles. Smooth muscle, involuntary, found in internal organs like stomach. Cardiac muscle, found in the heart, responsible for pumping blood. Skeletal muscle, a voluntary muscle, striated in appearance and responsible for locomotion. Mechanism of muscle contraction, it is explained by sliding filament theory. Muscle consists of fibers that make up muscle tissue. They are also known as myofibers. Muscle fibers are the fundamental unit of muscle tissue. First nerve impulse reaches the muscle. As a result, calcium ions are released, binding to troponin. Myosin heads attach to actin and pull it inward. ATP or energy is required for myosin heads to attach, pull, and detach from actin, ensuring repeated contractions. Muscle fiber contraction is the activation of tension-generating sites within muscle cells, while relaxation refers to the return of muscle fibers to a low-tension state. This cycle of contraction and relaxation continuously repeats, enabling movement and locomotion. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this lesson on locomotion and movement informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Science Animations for more amazing educational content. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Keep exploring, keep learning, and see you in the next video.